We cooking French toast. That's a meal prep. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. I just need a small one. Meal prep, meal prep, meal prep. Yeah, it's about time for me to hit that barber shop. You gonna get put back down or? This an edge up. But I might get it cut back down though, like the next three weeks though. But my hair back even. If y'all see the camera quality changing, I'm just messing with the. I'm talking to my uh, talking to, to my camera. If y'all see any camera quality changes, like the brightness, the lighting, or whatever you want to call it, just know I'm messing with it. So. Sure, don't get me in the frame. Man. I, 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 I don't. I don't really. I don't. I don't really get faces. Okay. It's not important to see our faces. It's important to just watch. Alright, so what my grandma is basically doing is she about to cut her camera on, but what she basically doing is show me how to make French toast from scratch. So what are we doing right now? Just a meal prep, like I said before. Two words. Meal prep. Okay. So we're gonna what I'm so so you know the next time you get ready to do this, whatever bread you have. And we don't show faces, y'all, so no, we focus on the food. Okay, come on in, y'all. Uh, Friday morning, we get ready to do some French toast. This is a tutorial on how to make homemade French toast. So, hope y'all having a God bless Friday. Hope you continue to pray with our season about the things that are going on in the world today. Y'all know we got a band together. You get those prayers going up now, so the blessings of the Lord will continue to come down. So, Kareem wants to know how to do French toast. So, I've got five slices of bread this is um that artisan bread that nice thick bread it's good to use thick bread but if you don't have a nice thick bread fine use what you got so we're going to take and cut this in three sections so we're going to have three six so we're going to have three we're going to have five ten fifteen slices so we're just going to go ahead and do all this up in french toast if it is left in french toast refrigerates or freezes well so i will pre melt in the butter on the skillet so kareem what i all i want you all you gotta do and make sure you use a serrated knife unless you got an extra sharp knife because you all you want to do is cut through that bread like so just hold it down like that and what does serrated mean those little edges those little floaty edges look like little waves this is a bread knife okay so because this bread is kind of gooey and will stick together. Y'all excuse my voice. This weather got my voice trying to be kind of <coughs> you know, raspy or whatever that's going on. So anyway, we got the bread stacks cut. So we got like 15 pieces of uh, French toast that we're going to be dealing with here. So we got that much done. Now, okay, so Corey, you want to do any of this or you just want me to keep going? I really just want you to keep going if okay. I'm just being honest. Okay. Okay, so we get the bread over here out the way. And this is me, you know, I'm, I don't, uh, we ain't playing around with, it is what it is. You know, on TV, if I had one of them TV talk shows, it would have to be perfect. But since nobody's perfect, we ain't gonna deal with perfect this morning. I got two eggs in here. Just two eggs, and I already put a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavor. That's just to get that uh, good old French toast seasoning in there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this wire whisk. 
and and ho make sure you hold don't do it too hard because if you don't know how to do it hard and keep it down it's going to be all over the place and i might even spill a little bit but we just want to whisk it as much as we can and i've got about a couple of tablespoons of milk you can use cream preferably cream but i just got whole milk that i just poured into there we're just going to keep it going and this is a tablespoon of brown sugar okay and i think this should be enough to wet all 15 slices of this bread we don't want to really soak it too much because it'll tear mm -hmm. if you soak it too much but we want it soft enough so it'll go through now i'm going to go ahead and pump the heat up to about medium um i'm on yeah medium low heat which is getting toward medium high so medium low heat we don't want to burn the butter but we want this uh skillet hot enough so on contact and go ahead and start putting a little bit of a crisp on that french toast okay okay i don't know why i'm wanting to put some more sugar in there but we're going to sweeten the pot a little bit uh, so i don't have to use so much sugar uh, excuse my reach Y'all know me. I don't know about me in here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put me like a pinch of sweetener. Because we want that sweet taste in there. Mm -hmm. Without putting all the sugar. The regular sugar. And that was brown sugar, like I said before. Okay. So, I'm gonna be a little, little, little bit more. A little bit more milk. And you can feel the drag on the whisk as to how thick those eggs are. You want to dump those eggs smoothed out, not really thick, because we don't want them to bubble up like fried eggs. And sometimes they will, but it's okay. As long as they got the sugar and the milk in there, it'll taste okay. Okay. So we're going to let it go at this. So about like that. Okay. Those sides. Okay. Now. I need some tongs. I have some tongs for one. Okay, y'all, I'm over here off the side looking for my tongs and make it off. Let's get them over here. Okay. Got my tongs, got my tongs. I hate to walk away because I like, I hate dead space, so I'm going to keep right on talking. You know, when you go to a play or something and they get ready for the next act and everything is quiet. Nobody's saying nothing, and you're looking at a blank stage. Well, I don't like to do that. So let's push that forward a little bit. And uh, I need to find my margarine again. This is smart start. Yeah, I don't use, I use butter some of the time, but a lot of time, because I have a heart condition, I subscribe to and would recommend that I use smart start. I, I, I would say smart start. Smart balance. It's supposed to be a hard, healthy thing, so you know how that goes. We try to do what we're supposed to do. And this is like, I guess, a cross between butter and margarine. But I like lots of butter or margarine on this. You get that little bit of water in there, right? Okay. So while that heats up, I'm going to go ahead and start dropping in the bread. And here's how we're going to drop it and turn it drop it and turn it and then start putting off the side drop and turn i use my hands a lot they're clean yeah make sure your hands always be yeah. clean keep them hands clean and wash keep them with four rock water off to the side wash them in hot water and soap and you know we got fan hand sanitizer of, of every description these days as a result of covid so all right we still start putting them on like so Get these out of the back right there so we don't want to get too clogged up so they won't tear up on them. And I think this this is my Eurocast cookware by the way, so it does I don't have to worry about things sticking to it. I don't know if I talk about this cookware on Kareem's channel or not, but this is called Eurocast. It's a titanium and ceramic cookware. Kind of pricey but it's good. I love it. I love the way it cooks. Uh, it's very durable, and I'm, he I'm very heavy-handed, so I need a good heavy um, cookware. So I purchased it at a, I don't know if you're familiar with the base or not, but I purchased it off base on a military 
say for they sometimes have vendors outside the store. But you can order your cats online. And I mean, it's kind of pricey, but it's not that bad. And if you cook all the time like I do, you need some good heavy-duty cookware. Now I've got some cookware that didn't cost so much, and it cooks just fine. But I prefer this. Because to me, it's, it's pretty in the way of, uh, it just looks good. I feel good when I use this cookware, y'all. Okay, we got all, got all of it in. Ooh, and you know what? This was this was just perfect. Just just enough. Just enough. I got one more piece. Are we going to make it, y'all? Yep. See, this is why you need to use your hands. I have a hard time using my hands with gloves on them, so I'm using my bar hands. And there we go. Sometimes when you mix it up, you may have a little bit, you know, to left to pour. I get every drop of my ingredients. So there you go. So we're going to let that cook um, maybe a couple, two, three minutes. And then you just got to check it. See, that one's brown already. So that means I need to turn my heat down. Watch your heat because this has sugar in it. And it will brown, it'll burn on you right quick. So you can't walk away. You can't be on your cell phone. You can't be doing other stuff. You got to be watching it. Right. right. Okay. Now let's get over here and find them. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do now is start checking all of them to make sure. Because like I said, we don't want to waste. I'm not, Kareem, I'm telling you, I don't believe in wasting food. So I, don't, I try not to burn it. When it's leftover, we try to eat a lot of leftovers. Or if we can put it in the freezer, we put it in the freezer. But we don't waste food around here. And so when it brown like that, you know, yeah. it's turning to the other side. Yep, brown it. So we, it's been cooking maybe a minute, minute and a half. Um, let them brown a little bit more. But when they get that pretty brown like that, they're ready to turn. Okay. And also, once you turn, you can basically turn it. The, well, the heat's on low, and that's why we're on low. You get that heat down on low. And uh, just let them cook. Because we also want them cooked enough in the middle. We don't want them to bite down to nothing that's not cooked, you know. See how pretty those come out? And then, you know, when they all get done, you throw some syrup on them, and you got yourself some nice homemade French toast sticks. I did have some already made up that I purchased at the store. Now, I'll tell you what I do with those. If you buy French toast sticks that are already made up at the store, and Kareem said he liked them, but they didn't really taste like French toast sticks. So what I do with those, I go ahead and put, uh, do the same egg mixture, and pour it over those ones that you buy already made. So, this makes them taste better as well. Okay, so we're just gonna keep check on them and make sure that everything cooks through. That's why uh, when we turn them over, we go ahead and um, turn the heat down so that they can cook all the way through. Get some of these, they seem to be cooking a little bit faster in the center. So we'll get some of these that's already cooked away from the center and get some of the lighter ones in the center. So this is how you do homemade French toasties. And this goes good with uh, sausage. And that's Korean. That sausage is frozen sausage and that's some unfrozen sausage. But I don't think it's about two or three pieces. You're going to eat like it is. You're going to eat sausage with it. Oh, no, i got to have some meat. Okay, so you want, ooh, Sorry about that noise. Whoa, that was my, uh, what you call that little food chopper that I moved it and the little things on the bottom make that big old, uh, what do you call it, grasshopper sound. Anyway, for all practical purposes, these are just about done. And Kareem says he wants some sausage, so he's going to uh, cook some sausage. You know what we're going to do? So we don't have a whole lot of dishes to wash. We just gonna go ahead and get a plastic it. plate. Yeah. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I'm not gonna record me cooking no sausage because that ain't nothing. But yeah. I do want y'all to see the French toast because that's yeah. the main. Okay, so that's we're just main, gonna go ahead and take these off. The see how beautiful they are. Yeah. The you feel made. Let's go ahead and start arranging these on the plate like so. Yummy. They smell so good. You can smell that cinnamon. 
uh, fragrance coming off of that aroma, rather not fragrance, but that cinnamon aroma coming off of that spread. Because that cinnamon and that vanilla mixed together just makes the most wonderfulest smell. Okay. I'm gonna give me a thumbnail. Okay. Out of this. Okay. And then we're gonna work. We're gonna work. That's all. We're almost done with this job. I mean, this task is almost complete. And that was what? It was five slices of bread. Like I said, I went ahead and used all that bread because who was going to eat the heel? Now, I eat the heel, like they said, they call it the heel of the bread. I'll eat the heel of the bread. I love the heel of the bread. Oh, we call them ends. Okay. We're almost done here, folks.